There are two types of diabetes. Type 1 is thought to be caused by a combination of genetic and lifestyle factors and means that the pancreas does not produce insulin, which is the hormone that regulates the body's blood sugar. Type 2 diabetes is mostly caused by lifestyle factors, such as poor diet and exercise, and means that although the pancreas still produces insulin, the body can no longer use it. The number of children in England and Wales with type 2 diabetes is relatively low, at around 600 children, but it's increasing steadily. Those children will grow up to be adults, and the number of adults in the UK with type 2 is estimated to be between 3 and 4 million, costing the NHS £8.8 .8 billion pounds every year. A recent study by the Children's Policy Research Unit which collected data from every child attending diabetes units in England and Wales, found that two-thirds of those diagnosed were girls. South Asian girls were more likely to develop type 2 compared to girls of other ethnic backgrounds. 40% of children with type 2 come from the most deprived families. This could be down to a lack of safe exercise facilities and less access to affordable healthy food. So what can we do? We can ask our schools and councils to create more opportunities for exercise and we can find a way to make healthy food affordable to everyone.